games, movies, TV, comics. Let's get on with it, shall we? Hello YouTube, this is Bdrew1111, gamertag Bdrew93. And uh, basically today's video is going to be about um, Connect and why I think, personally, people should not forget about it. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is basically, it's been a topic that's bugged me for a while, but um, it was today that actually pushed me over the tipping point, really. And uh, basically, I was in work and um, a colleague of mine um, was basically saying that he want, he's, he's got like money from Christmas and he wants to buy himself an Xbox One. Um, but wasn't sure if he was going to buy the Connect one or the Connectless one because uh, of the price difference. And then while I'm trying to convince him to get the Connect one because I think it's brilliant, another work colleague of mine pipes up in the background who's a PS4 person and he was like, ah, God, you don't bother with the Connect. Um, you know, ah, oh, rubbish, you know, it, uh, it's rubbish, you, you, you know, it's only, it's rubbish, it's only, you can only use it for games and it's not even good for that or some, some petty comment like that, it was something along those lines. And I was just like, wow, and, and, and my, my mate was actually buying into it a little bit, he was like, oh, it's only for games, is it? Uh, you know, and, and I was just, and, and they don't really do many games, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And it just hit me then, I was like, do you know what? I, I did explain to him, like, what I'm about to explain to you, but I will be explaining to you in more detail. But that, that like, oh, people have just got it all wrong. And it, it just frustrates me, because, like, personally, I think the Kinect is a fantastic piece of kit. I think, I think it totally, it, it, it turns the whole, um, your whole, uh, like, room, or whatever room it's in, into, a, like, a whole entertainment multimedia system. Um, it, it, it does all the same features that a smart telly can do, only better, smoother, and, and a lot easier. Um, makes the whole experience for the gamer, or the consumer, or the person using it, um, a lot more rich and personal. And, um, and for most things, on uh, the UI and the dashboard and the and everything um, on the Xbox One, um, it, you can just do with your voice or hands. You don't even need the controller. Of course, with games, unless you've got Connect Sports, which for me personally, I'm not bothered about. But unless for certain games like FIFA 15, you can like do manager mode stuff with your voice, which is cool. But apart from games, you can pretty much next to everything just do with your voice or hands. And I just think that in itself is just excellent. And um, that also goes for, like, I can't do it for my telly because um, it's older. Um, which is also great because an older telly is now sort of brought to life a bit more. So, like, it's, it's technically a smart TV with the Kinect sensor. But what I am trying to say is with up-to-date TVs like Samsung, LG, Panasonic, Bush, whatever, uh, 4K to... You can also sync it so when you turn your Xbox on, it automatically turns your telly on through the Kinect voice commands. You can um, do the volume through the Kinect. It's just incredible. Literally everything through voice. You don't need to do anything. You don't even need your TV remote half the time. And, um, but yeah, basically, um, this is just a video on my opinion why I think that Kinect should be pushed more and more than it ever has been before. Because, um, end of the day, um, the Xbox One and Kinect go hand in hand. The Kinect was, the Xbox One was built around the Kinect, um, and I just think Microsoft have made a grave error in, um, making it very, um, like, optional. Like, 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 a lot, so optional that no one even really has it anymore. I mean, I'm lucky to have it. I was one of the first Xbox One owners out there, like, um, like, I got it straight away and you had to have Connect, but I'm glad, I really am. It's so, it's such a good, good thing, it's brilliant. And I just think that over time, it, like, with that, I also, well, I must say, I do applaud Microsoft for hearing people out, the people who didn't really want to connect. Um, um, but then again, I don't think people were scared of actually having Connect. I believe they were just afraid of the price, because, but that's also what I'm going to talk about as well. Because this year, or well, last year, 2014, Microsoft made $86 billion um, annual profit. And uh, over here in Britain, that would be about £57 billion pounds annual profit, like, you know, currency difference. Um, with that said, Xbox had sold 10 million units officially um, last year. So with that, you know, take that to one side. Um, the Xbox with Connect 
on average now is £399. And the Xbox without Kinect, on average, oh, looking at a lot of different sites, is averaging at £329 standalone. That's a £61 difference in price. So, I personally think that the Xbox One should give the Kinect away for free now. It's, it's really not that much of a loss. In total, £61 times 10 million, because of the 10 million units, that comes to £610 million that Xbox One and Microsoft would essentially be flushing down the loop. But you put £610 million next to £57 billion. I just think Microsoft really need to cut their losses because Microsoft, Xbox One, Connect, like Connect is a, is a flagship product. You wouldn't have a big, a big bloody pirate ship without its sails. It wouldn't work. And um, I mean, I understand the the UI that with the controller they have catered for people without Connect, and it works. It's fine. I'm not saying that the Connect is like the be all and end all but I do think that they should have pushed it more because it is a fantastic piece of kit and I do think that if it was free it could potentially sell a lot more Xbox Ones if people could buy the Xbox One for as little as 329 like it would be without Connect, but with Connect, because it's a brilliant people don't really understand how good it is until they get hands on with it I was blown away I felt like Tony Stark off Iron Man. It was just like, wow, is this for real? Because like I said, smart TVs, at least any smart TV I've used, has never really worked. Connect comes along and turns my eight-year-old TV in, uh, well, way more than it, into like a smart TV and the whole thing. It just, it works, guys. And bear in mind the money side of it as well. Like, Microsoft would not be losing a great deal of money giving away the Kinect as, like, as a freebie. Like, thank you for purchasing our Xbox One. Here's a Kinect sensor. I just think now's the right time because the price on the Xbox is a lot more affordable now. And for the amount of money Microsoft are making, like, it's, there's no, it's no secret how much money they're making. They're, they're absolutely swimming in it. So what's the harm in get, just giving away Kinect? Because it is a brilliant thing that I think every Xbox One consumer should have in there. Because it's, it is Xbox One. You think Xbox One, you think Kinect. End of story. And I'm going to show you why Kinect is such a brilliant piece of kit. And why it is revolutionary in terms of like just how, how you enter a room to go on your Xbox console. It's just amazing. At least for me personally, I love it and I'm going to show you why. Stay tuned in, guys.